stuff forward. And what, just coming off that, that last exhibition of the game, points, I mean, how do you feel like you're, you're figuring out what you're doing know, the offensively and, and how, what it takes to kind of play smart and, and make the decision for those offenses? Yeah, I feel like just keeping the game simple is the most important part. We have so many talented guys around the team that can make plays that will get me open. So just being able to knock down for shots and then just make simple reads when my team is open to get them the ball. So I feel like just keeping that offensive part of the game simple um, just makes a big difference. How much more confident? I mean, we were talking about the shot a lot, basically. Really. I mean, it seems like we're taking even bigger strides. Shooting the basketball back. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Oh, yeah. It's definitely yeah. a lot more comfortable this time around than <laughs> right. last year. So, I mean, but that comes with reps, just being around the team, just sitting there for 82 games, even more than that, just watching the team. So, I mean, just being around the NBA itself just gets you more confident, more ready for that for that second year. And I just feel like that's that's all it is. Just, um, just more adjusted, more comfortable, more confident for the second year. When you go from a position up to down, Rick said that can be harder than the other way around. What's you's been the most challenging part of that so far? Um, honestly, I, I want to. I mean, uh, <laughs> maybe just guarding the smaller guards, maybe. But um, I feel like that, that's yeah, probably just guarding smaller guards. But offensively, I feel like our sets are, are similar for, with those positions, so pretty interchangeable. Um, and then we play such a fast game that, I mean, we, we sometimes have random matchups on defense. So I feel like just guarding those smaller guards, giving those in front, um, that would probably be the biggest change. Because your offensive responsibilities are so similar, do you feel like you're not thinking that much? It's coming pretty natural to you to yeah, do that stuff yeah, so far? Sure. I mean, I definitely try to focus on just like hard play, defense, rebounding, and then that offensive side. That'll, exactly. you're good, you're that, good. that'll take care of itself. Jairus, you guys have so much continuity and chemistry, yet you guys are very competitive in practice. Yeah. What does that say about the group? Um, this, we know there's another level we can take it to, and we all want to be great. We all want to see each other succeed. So we know the games are what they are, but like this area, this time of the year, that's really when we, we can grow and get each other better and push each other because we know each other's tendencies really well. Like we know each other in and out. So, I mean, if we can score on each other, if we can get stopped on each other, then probably the NBA game will be not easier, but less of an adjustment. I know we were talking about this before last year when you were even talking about playing number three, but what, how much do you, you still rely on that experience playing point guard in high school? Like how much does that take transition? You know, um, just going back? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely makes it easier. Cause I feel like the three I have for Baltimore, so decision making is big, just limiting turnovers, making the right read, just hitting the open man, just keeping the game simple. And um, just playing point guard kind of kind of helps you in that sense, just keeping the game simple, getting your teammates involved, but still being able to know when to when to get downhill, make reads, make shots, take your shot. Um, so just just simplifying the game, but also knowing when to when to do it.